Hello, this is Julian Buss, and uh, this is just one way to make a picture-in-picture uh, -picture recording on a Mac and an iPad. So I figured I might be doing this um, a couple times for my classes to see, uh, so the students can kind of see my face as I'm talking and uh, also go over some of the content as well for the week and such. So um, just kind of go over how to make this uh, happen. So um, first thing it is, I just used Air Server to mirror my iPad to my computer screen. And then um, I used QuickTime, which is in this other category, QuickTime player. All right, so I, I used that to set up um, a movie recording, which activated my Mac camera. And so that's what you're seeing as a picture down here. You can just um, you know, manipulate the size of this wherever you want that picture and picture aspect to be. And then what's actually recording isn't the movie. I didn't click record on the movie. I just put that off to the side. And then I kind of want to get that bar off there. There we go. And then what's actually recording, let me go back to QuickTime here, is then I clicked new screen recording and um, make sure my my microphone was active and all that stuff. So I'm really just recording my computer screen, which happens to have a video of myself on it. Um, and so now what I can do is I can go to Schoology here or Notability or something like that on my iPad. And I can you know, explain things, um, talk about documents that I want the kids to look at and those types of things. Um, kind of much like I would do in class. If I'm in class explaining something, I usually will be mirroring this to the projector, and so you can kind of do that same thing. But again, you have the picture in picture so they can see you as you're talking about stuff. Um, you might want to go over Schoology stuff as well, maybe go through the work for the week. And so I just have various uh, folders set up for that if it loads. There we go. So I might. You know, maybe open this up. Maybe at some point I don't want the picture in picture anymore because I want this to be um, viewed a little closer. I can go ahead and uh, manage that as well. So I can talk about various course aspects. Um, they get the voice, the picture, and the content explanations as well. So let me go back to both screens. All right. Anyway, that was just how to do um, a picture-in-picture -picture recording on a Mac, and then once I'm done with this, I'll hit stop right here, and then I'll save this video to my computer, and I don't know, it depends on the video size, file size, and the uh, resolution I use and such, but I'll possibly put it to YouTube, maybe unlisted, um, so that it doesn't go public, um, or I might just post it as a video. If it's a shorter video, I might just post it as a video file to Schoology to an update or something like that.